Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queen. You're watching Queen Varieties channel. Varieties the spice of life, isn't it? Yes, I believe that the combination of various varieties bring about a uniqueness and deliciousness. On today's life. menu, I'll be serving you a well-prepared, super delicious pepper soup recipe made with few ingredients, easy steps to follow, and yet you're going to result with a fantastic outcome. I think those of you who are experiencing cold in this season will appreciate this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, share my video with your friends and loved ones. Also, turn on your bell notification guys so that each time I upload any video, you will be the first to get instant notifications. I also sincerely want to say a very big thank you for those of you who have been supporting me right from the beginning of this channel up to this point in time. Without you, Queen Varieties wouldn't have gone this far. So I want to say a big thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. I don't say it every time, but know that I really, really appreciate you. Your comments, your feedbacks have been so, so wonderful. Okay? Yes, thank right. you. So without wasting much of your time, we are going straight to the recipe as fast as possible. Thank you. <laughs> Our chief ingredient for this soup preparation is goat meat. I've already gone ahead to rinse mine properly. So this you must take care of because you don't want to eat something that is dirty. I have placed them in a sieve just to eliminate any bad liquid or something of that nature. Yes, yeah, so I'll transfer everything to the pot, add two pairs of seasoning cubes to it. You would need salt to taste because of course without salt your meals will be tasteless add depending on the quantity of meat you have in the pot. I will introduce two sachets of pepper soup spice. It is wise to add this early enough that way the meats will take in the flavor from it. Next introduce fresh basil if you have it available. I have already gone ahead to dice my onions. I have a mixture of white and purple onions. <laughs> I don't know why I normally combine onions, but guys, trust me, it tastes nice. Next, I will proceed and introduce Cameroonian pepper and Niger pepper, the red one. That one that is very dry and super spicy. Uh -huh, that's what I have here. Mix everything for an even distribution. Cover the pot to cook for exactly 10 to 15 minutes paprika peppers two fresh tomatoes one yellow pepper and precursor or here. feel free to use any vegetables of your choice this is going to help introduce nice flavor and richness to the meal at the same time if you're having something like cold kata it's going to play a huge impact to 15 minutes later i've opened up the pot now the ingredients that i have thrown into the blender which is the vegetables i introduced earlier on we are going to pour it right into the pot now look at how the stock or the appearance of the soup is looking this place is oozing with gorgeous and beautiful aroma i will now go ahead and then sieve all the items blended this depends on the quantity of liquid you would like to have in your pepper soup So once sieved completely, you're going to take your time, stir, combine the pot. Now guys, take a good look at the appearance of that stock. If you're having something like kata, cold, cough, this is going to be very helpful. So after mixing it, I will then bring in the precursor or the yuhokere here, that's what we call it. Pepper soup spice I'm adding now, my mother-in-law sent to me. It has a very nice taste and flavor. And then add extra two sachets of pepper soup spice. three tablespoons of crayfish powder or dry fish powder this is going to add extra boost and uniqueness and richness to this dish trust me this pepper soup is going to taste amazing now look at the appearance of the soup you notice the color will cover the pot cook for extra 20 minutes or 25 minutes <laughs> 
25 minutes or there about later ah my people this place oh my goodness the aroma is booming <laughs> It's booming. When you see the pot now, you see there's oil on the surface. I will go ahead and add scent leaf, dry scent leaf, and otazi leaves. Scent leaf or the otazi leaf is a must have in any pepper soup recipe you make. Taste to see if there is any salt or seasoning, if everything is perfect. Now, guys, look at the appearance of the soup. You will notice oil has stepped popping from the goat meat. Now, this depends on the species of goat meat that you're using. I'll cover the pot now and simmer on medium to low heat for 5 good minutes. 5 minutes later, I have opened up the pot. Oh my goodness, just take a good look at that color. Look at the oil that came out from the protein. So the oil you're seeing on the goat meat is a clear indication that it is ready. Drop it on your white boiled rice, you will understand the depth of flavor in it. Next, I'm going to garnish with fresh basil, use parsley or any vegetable of your choice. Best recommended for pepper soup is otazi or fresh scent leaf or the dry one. But if you don't have it, go for parsley or anything you can find or fresh basil. Yes. Next, we are going to draw the cutting for today's recipe. But before I do so, I'm going to serve, guys. Some of us enjoy this meal with boiled rice and somebody like me i enjoyed mine with the fufu that's how i love to enjoy my pepper soup if you use spoon and scoop it with your fufu and drink it eh? oh my goodness i got on a show for on a for my people it is so delicious and tasty so you can pair with your white boiled rice you can pair with fufu if you want and have a delightful experience. Here, I'm the going to draw the cutting for today's recipe. For Remember, God, variety is the spice of time. life. Until I come your way next time, remember to share my video, like, subscribe. Stay blessed. God bless you. Bye for now.